India has successfully test-fired its indigenously developed intercontinental uh, surface-to-surface nuclear-capable ballistic missile Agni-5 uh, from the Vila island of the Odisha coast today. The indigenously de uh, developed missile is capable of striking a target more than 5,000 kilometers away. It is about 17 meters long, 2 meters wide and has a launch weight of 50 tons. The missile can carry a nuclear warhead of more than a ton. This will be the first test of the Agni-5 missile after India became a member of the missile technology control regime. Agni-5 can target almost all of Asia including Pakistan, China and Europe. This is the fourth developmental flight of this high-tech missile. Agni-5 gives India the strategic depth it needs to contain its enemies. India describes the Agni-5 missile system as a weapon of peace. Pallav Bagla now joins us for the very latest on this big development. Uh, Pallav, a successful test fire there of Agni-5 adds considerable strategic heft to our military strength. Certainly, it's a very important test and it has been conducted successfully today morning from the Kalam Island of the Odisha coast. This now gives India the capability of very soon deploying the Agni-5 missile in, in, with the Strategic Forces Command which makes India a, joint, a select club of nations which have this capability. Among the other nations which have this capability are America, Russia, France, United Kingdom, uh, possibly uh, China also has that capability, possibly North Korea and Israel. So India joins a very select club and Pakistan, uh, let me correct myself, also has this capability to, to launch missiles or ballistic missiles. So this now gives India a strategic depth to counter its enemies. Both India, uh, both Pakistan and China are within the range of this missile and almost all of Asia and parts of Europe are within the range of this missile. It's a strategic missile which can carry nuclear weapons and gives India the much needed second strike capability.